Hey YouTube, in this video, we're gonna swap out these grass tires and put on some R4s, and then we're gonna fill them with fluid. It's a pretty interesting process. Stick with me. Welcome to my life. All right, hey YouTube, welcome back. Hey, this week we're gonna be swapping out these grass tires, these Mighty Mo's off of my John Deere 3120. And we're gonna be putting on some R4s that I bought like five years ago <laughs> that have been sitting here waiting for me to put them on. Uh, I did take the time to spray paint the rims. They were gray, so they're now John Deere yellow and they're ready to go. Um, and I need to fill them with fluid. And that's not as simple as you'd think. you think you just, well, I don't know what you think you'd do. But uh, we're going to have to make a manifold uh, to put on there, and then we'll have to pump the fluid in. Uh, so there's a chart out there, for those of you who don't, don't know, just look up uh, tire field charts, or tractor tire field charts, and there's a chart that comes up. And it tells you how many gallons it takes to, to fill it up to 75%. Um, in my case, I'm going to be using winter wiper fluid, uh, negative 25 degree winter wiper fluid, uh, for the temperatures here. Um, and then we'll... Uh, build a manifold and pump it in but it should be pretty cool my other tires um are are good for the grass and hopefully these aren't bad for the grass there are four so they should be fine but these ones are such soft walls when i'm really picking up loads with the bucket uh, and i'm using that as a tractor um it, they, they just don't they can't handle the weight and then also out on the farm there's some big thorns some hawthorn trees they got big thorns and uh, i've already punctured it uh once already and had flat tire and had to fix that from the inside so um i think these are gonna be way more effective for what i'm doing because i'm 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 half tractoring and half milling right um, these r4s are supposed to be not so bad on the yard um uh, i guess we'll find that out though huh so i'm gonna decide to put them on uh they are a quarter well they are shorter uh than my current tires and they're wider uh so it should be a quarter inch lower in the back end and uh about an inch wider so that'll be interesting to see how that affects things uh, my mower deck should still clear though i've measured that out uh the the, the back wheels of the mower deck uh come back on the outside of that that tire so but they should still fit yeah so first thing i gotta do is uh get to lowe's and pick up the uh winch wiper fluid that i ordered online so somebody else would carry it out for me <laughs> so let's go get that done Hey, several people have asked me how I got the cars out of the out of the basement. Um, and here's how. I got this double door, French doors. The cars just fit through here uh, when you send them all the way back. Uh, it's a pain. It's, it's uh, dangerous, whatever. I don't want to say dangerous, but it's, yeah, you could hurt the car. But uh, the Corvette especially only fits with thumbs. The plan will be once I get my building to get these cars out of here. And then we'll put them in the building. And then we'll finish this off because this is going to be like a kitchen downstairs kitchen and this will be a massive living room uh and then there'll be one more room on the end here a bathroom utility room whatever but one step at a time let's get the tractor done first hey all right so to put the fluid into the tire you got to have like a manifold you just got to kind of build and you know i didn't come up with this there's well not you know there's a lot of different ideas on the internet but there's a lot of stuff similar to this this is what i found in my lows but you know there's a uh, three-piece tire adapter that basically goes up onto the air stem of the tractor right um, you can get that off of amazon it also has a pressure relief valve on the top so you can let the air out um, and then that'll drop into a manifold uh, basically i have a pressure gauge so i know the the pressure is building up in there to let the air out i have on and off valves just so if it starts running back or or it's blowing by i can shut it off and then I have a pump, so I just got fittings to adapt to my pump and then one to go to a hose so I can put it back in the bu bucket. But basically, uh, when you're letting air out, there's, a, there's waste that goes by. That'll go back to the bucket. This manifold allows you to put it back in the bucket so you're not wasting stuff. And the pump I had was uh, off a sprayer, so I'm just going to use it. It's 12 volt, and uh, it'll pump the, I'll put the fluid into a bucket uh, with the hose so that way I don't get air in. And I'll just keep pumping that in until I'm three quarters of the way full. So I got 60 uh, gallons of uh, uh, windshield washer fluid, negative 25, 
that we'll put in the tires, but uh, I need to build one of these first. There's a chart on the internet. If you just go out there and uh, look for, uh, you know, how many gallons does it take to fill up a tractor tire or whatever, it'll come up. Um, and there's some good videos out there from other people, but uh, I just figured uh, I'd expose my audience to filling the tractor tire since I need to do it anyway. So let me get this manifold built and then we'll go downstairs and start putting the tires on the tractor and then we'll fill them. So it should be fun. All right, let's get to work. All right, so now we have to kind of figure out how we want this thing to be angled because it'll come out. I may even want them straight, I don't know. Then they could just shoot straight forward. And then the gauges would come down like this. A lot of guys tilt them a little bit so that they're kind of straight up and down once they clear the tractor tire, I think. I don't want them too straight. I think something like that would probably work good where these come straight down. It's actually a really good day for this because it's raining like crazy out there. Which you put back in, but that's pretty good, that little angle. So I just need to make sure they're like that when I get them together. I think I'll get a piece of cardboard up here because that glue always gets over everything. Some old threads on too. Lumber's funny. Yeah, that's trash. I think all this is going to be bad. These might be good because I don't think they've ever been open. I'm right blue. So I got the tractor jacked up. I got the new tires there ready to go. Get these old tires off and get these front ones on. They should just be pretty basic. I mean, I do need to look up the torque on them though. I don't need to get my torque wrench out, but I'll do that last after I'm all done. All right. 
Was geht das an? So I barely got this off the ground. No matter of fact, yeah, I barely got it off the ground. It's still touching, but they're full of water, so uh, they're going to be heavy. So my plan is to loosen these and then probably jack it up as I pull it off, so it's not so. So it's not so. Bad. You can definitely see where I need to focus on cleaning a little better. But uh, yeah, that's the mid PTO that I put in. You had to re put in all new gears. It was crazy. I had to ship out the box to there, put in all new gears back, and then add this to the side so that I could do my belly mower. Of course, it's all the way down. It lifts up, but it's just down right now. But yeah, it's a good look of uh, what's going on underneath. I need to pay attention to mow here better or uh, clean there better. All right, let's get this tire on her. Need to be a lot lighter because they're empty. These tires are pretty heavy themselves without even being filled, so that'll be interesting.
can see the difference. They're definitely a wider tire, but they're a half inch shorter, so it'll that'll drop it about a quarter inch, obviously. And my little tool works just fine. I got it out. That's my tool. And it actually fits in there just fine. But I ended up using a uh, little screwdriver to get her pushed. She was stuck. Once she started moving, easy peasy. So you can buy this stuff a lot cheaper than what I paid for it. I got it from Lowe's. I uh, wanted negative 25. Don't know why. And there's negative 20, whatever. I wanted negative 25. My tractor actually sits inside the winter. But maybe one day I'll snow plow with it. I don't know. The reason I'm pouring it into a bucket is so that it doesn't uh, empty out. And I can uh, keep the air out of it. I don't know. There's four gallons. Let's see what we got here. All right, so I got this braided washer dry hose that I just have laying around upstairs. That's nice and short. So that'll work right there. And basically, all that's going to be for is returning the juice back to back to here if I lift the pressure off. I guess. I don't know. We'll see how all this works when we get going here. I really don't know. I sure would have made that bend down like it was supposed to, instead of the opposite. I can turn them around, but then the valves are on the back side. But let's see what we got so far. Plus it's right here. Cycle it. And once I turn this off, we can go in. I'm just kind of watching my pressure. Getting some 
nice pressure on here and pressure release. So basically by opening this, just letting the air back out. And then any the water that's coming back is going right in there too. We gotta let that PSI come down. Interesting. So that's letting the air back out. This thing can't do much more than 20 evidently. So we'll let the air go out and just get that fluid. Alright, let's set her up again. So we already have six bottles. Well, there's some gallons in there though. Go ahead and fill this up so I stay ahead of it when I turn back on. this line because that's the release back turn the pump on I did have to do at the end there was I had to jack the tractor up because the tractor pushing out on the tire was pushing the juice back up so I had to lift the tractor up so it wouldn't pull any more out I put the valve stem in there and uh, so now I just need to put air in there made a little bit of mess though too I need to put air in there so I'm gonna get an extension cord and we'll get this tire pumped up to it's what it's supposed to be in which I think is 30 psi and we'll go from there I got the air coming out of this one. This was all done, capped up. I put it to 25, the max is 30, so I just put it to 25. So she should be good. Get this sucker on here, tighten on her, pull the water. All right, that's 30 bottles. Now I need to just move all this stuff over the other side. So 30 bottles. It's quite a few. 30 to go. You wouldn't believe the looks that I got to lose this morning. I couldn't figure out why I was buying so much fluid.
So I'll tell you, there's really nothing hard about this at all. It just takes time. A um, little bit of planning for the manifold. That was one trip to Lowe's. And then uh, having a pump, I guess you can buy those at Lowe's, but I just happen to have one. So making that fit had to be thought out just a little bit. And of course, you know, it's good to have a battery around. In my case, it's a marine battery. And it needs to be used, that's good too. Same one I used to pump out the fuel tanks on the boat. Ten dollar boat. Calculations seem to be about right. The other side took 30 gallons. That's what I said it would take. So I got 30 gallons for this side. So you figure, it's quite a bit of weight we're adding back to this trailer. So it's going pretty good. We got six, 12, 12 bottles in, I guess. I don't know, six, yes, yeah, so I guess it is 12. So she's going pretty good. Three more boxes to go. <laughs> Just a lot of time. I mean, it's no big deal. Just takes time. Manifold works pretty good. I wish I had bent it the other way though. I, I bent it to go down and then I put the the uh, valves on the wrong side. I should have been building it the other way. I could flip the meter around, that's no big deal. But the valves will be on the back side if I flip it around. So, note to tell, thank you for your glue next time. But it's working good. I mean, it's working just fine. I'm just pushing a little more pressure up here where I don't want it. But motor scene everything seems to be going good i mean you're just coming along just gotta let the pressure out every three four gallons and of course it'll get it'll change when i get to the top but seems to be all working good i got the tractor jack so i don't have the same problems i did on the other side and we can all replace but all right so just gotta get through these bottles finally empty so I can take this sucker off it's 30 gallons on this side put the two back uh, the uh, the um, filler back in and then uh, we should be good to go I thought you uh, run some water through this thing though just to rinse it out just so that stuff's not in there but we'll do that we'll get a bucket of water out there all right let's get this all put back together here all right we'll let that go and we'll uh, clean up that there's a lot of empty bottles. All right, so it's another day. The sun is out, the rain, and the grass is all pretty much dried up. It's not totally dried up, but I spent the morning weed eating. I backed up all the stuff so I can mow there. Everything's ready to go. Now we just got to get this mower hooked up. Hopefully it clears the tires, and uh, we'll test this out. I can already tell you, though, the new tires, just driving around the uh, yard, <laughs> man, it's a little bit rougher ride, so I will definitely pump up my air ride seat this morning. All right, well, let's get after this.
try a little bit different setting. That should be just a little bit higher because I'm a quarter inch lower now. YouTube I'm done mowing and I've hooked up the bucket loader on this thing just to see how that would react the front tires can't even tell usually they squat the other ones would squat but the tires did good it was real wet down there by the lake and uh, uh, it fell out a couple times but when it does it just digs in right so that's a, a good and bad right it'll be great on the farm it's a little rough on the grass but just have to take our time but yeah they did good now I just got a washer and Put her away. All right. See you next time. YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe.